We're working the story from several angles, speaking to neighbors who are standing outside watching their homes burn. We're also watching how it will affect your morning commute. We're going to start with NBC 10's Karen Hua live on that scene. Karen, what do you see right now? Well, Keith, as the sun comes up, it has become an increasingly smoky situation. I would actually point out the awning where officials tell us this has started, but it is just incredibly smoky. I'm actually going to have our photojournalist, John, see if he can pan over there. There is an orange awning where fire officials are telling us that is where the fire started. We just spoke to the fire captain who told us this fire is not completely contained, not completely under control still at this hour. So even though from our vantage point, you might not see bright orange, might not see active flames. This is still very much an active scene as fire officials are telling us. This is what they also have confirmed to us so far. They say the fire started shortly before 2 a.m. and it's actually across the street from the iconic Chinatown fire department so they were able to respond in about 30 seconds they say five apartment units have been affected including a partial building collapse there is not yet an exact count of how many people were evacuated but there are no injuries reported so far fortunately officials say there are at least 45 fire trucks here trying to get this situation under control take a listen at what fire captain Derek Bowman had to say uh, it's always a challenge uh, in this neighborhood, you know, with tight streets, uh, you know, water issues. Uh, we want to we want to ensure that our this community is well taken care of. Uh. So there are also a few dozen people looking on from the sidewalk, many of them who are residents who were evacuated from their homes nearby, now watching as firefighters are trying to salvage their homes. To paint a little picture for you here, here at 10th and Ray Streets, this really is the heart of Chinatown. The first floor of many of these buildings are iconic businesses, small businesses, and very beloved restaurants who've been in this Chinatown neighborhood for a very long time. Many of these residents here, they're also Asian Americans. That's what the fire chief was telling us too. There are a few language barriers, so they're trying to really use translation to help explain to these residents what the situation is going on here. Of course, as for the investigation, they don't yet know what the cause of this fire is. They're going to be looking into that further. But first things first, they want to make sure that this active scene is going to be under control and make sure that everyone is safe first and foremost. That's the latest from Chinatown. Karen Hua, NBC 10 News. Karen, thank you for that update there. The people who live in that building, they are now outside watching and waiting. They were evacuated hours ago, five units total. So NBC 10's Miguel Martinez Faya, he's live in Chinatown with that part of the story. Miguel. Hey, good morning. Yeah, this is really touching neighbors from all over, not just the building that uh, firefighters are currently working to put the fire out. And actually, you can see some of the flames still going on the roof there as uh, the fire department pours water onto the building. This is, like Karen said, still a very active investigation, a very active scene, and a very active response. But neighbors really in buildings across are also affected because of how smoky it is. You can see those plumes of black smoke going into the air. Well, they're also wafting into other buildings, which is causing those fire alarms to go off. I spoke to a neighbor earlier who said that her alarm's been going off for three hours. She has a, a baby, and so obviously they had to take the children, the baby, out of the apartment, put them in a car, and try to drive as far from here as possible to get some sleep, at least for her family. That's what they did. Of course, uh, you know, they, they want uh, firefighters to time to this and to make sure everybody gets out safely, that this fire is put out safely, but they also want these alarms to stop going up for the buildings that aren't currently on fire. So we're seeing um, neighbors gather over here, and then also if uh, photojournalist Matt Schaefer could uh, zoom in over across the street, we do see a big group of people that are gathering uh, across from where uh, the response is happening right now, presumably neighbors affected on uh, that side of the street as well. So this is really hitting the whole Chinatown area as the fire department continues to try to put out, well, like I said, these very active flames. Meanwhile, we also spoke to people as uh, they were getting out, getting to safety this morning. Here's what they had to say. So we didn't know if it was in our building or if it was in the the building next door. And then when you hear the fire alarm going off, it goes from being like, you know, just kind of casually getting your stuff on to like, OK, we got to get out of here uh, as soon as we can. So grab the cat and don't even have our phones or anything else, but just our cat and ourselves, basically. 
Yeah, and, and really it was an emergency situation, so people had to get out as fast as possible. We've seen people uh, with no shoes on, people, uh, you know, in a bathrobe. And so it has been uh, a chaotic morning for these neighbors. Now, as Karen said, thankfully, no injuries reported as of yet. But you can see fire department still working to put out some flames here in this fire. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.